far and beyond our own vision and what we think is the prosperous way. No, God can do exceedingly and abundantly above all we can ever ask or even think. That's the great God that we serve. He's the best God. He is a mighty God. Let us right now, church, let's not uh, lose this moment to, to fall into worship. And let's not move this moment to fall intimately in love with God again. Now let's not lose this moment. This is our opportunity and our chance. We've just been encouraged to know that God is able to do anything. But let's right now just sit at the feet of Jesus and worship Him in spirit and truth. Let's open our hearts. Let's go back to the foot of the cross. Let's fall in love with God again. Open our hearts this morning and just receive, receive the worship, receive his blessing in your life because he has something for you. He wants nothing but the best for you. Let's, let's just worship together, church. Father, we just thank you and we open our hearts. We open everything, Lord. All the secret closet, all the closed doors of our lives, we open them up, Lord. And we reveal the true us. We're going to be transparent before you, Lord. And we shall bow at your presence. We shall humble ourselves at your presence. We shall worship to the mighty king, the great king who can do anything and all things. We lift you up, O exalted God, most high God, most holy God. We worship you today. Thank you, Lord. Thank you.
next to your promise, Lord. And that's why we are here. We are here because we believe and we know and we receive that nothing is too hard for you. Nothing can compare to your promise, Lord. And so today as one body, as one voice, with one heart, in one spirit, we receive you, Lord. And we thank you that you are a God that will never give up. That you are a God that will never forget. That all that we go through, as testified by Brother Lafoma, that you are able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all we could ever ask or think. And so, Lord, this moment of worship and this moment of truth, Father, we're not going to let this moment pass by, but we're just going to receive you, O Most High God, and we thank you. Thank you for all things and everything. Father, maybe sometimes we might forget where we are at in life, maybe through the hustle and bustle of things, Father. No, Lord, we're not going to look at our circumstance. We're not going to embrace our situation, but we embrace you, the God of breakthrough. That the ceiling that used to hinder us from breaking through, we believe by your power, that ceiling will be the next floor to a new beginning. We honor you today, and we give you thanks. We give you praise. We give you worship, because you are a worthy God. In Jesus' name, we pray these things. Come on, somebody, shout out amen. amen. Come on, say amen. amen. Come on, I need you to scream out amen. Jesus. He hasn't forgotten about you. He knows exactly where you're at. And he's just going to work through your life because he is able to overcome any circumstance or situation that you may face. God is good all the time. All the time. All the time. Hallelujah. Turn to your neighbor and tell him